Hey guys, Braided Zero here, bringing you a video on 15 things to know about Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Like, subscribe, and comment below. First thing, the game releases on October 4th, but you can play it three days early with their subscription service, Uplay Plus. Or if you pre-order or purchase an eligible edition as a part of the play early part, you can do it early as well. Number two, there will be PvP in a mode called Ghost War. They will have two different game types called Elimination and Sabotage, in addition to a class system and progression that can be done either solo or in co-op. Number three, you can kill enemies the same regardless of their gear score or yours. Headshots kill with one shot unless your enemy is armored. Higher level enemies can take more body shots and non-human enemies will get stronger as they grow in level, but anybody who's just a basic guy can be one shot headshot regardless of the level. Number four, you can drive a few different vehicles along with a helicopter. You can find these vehicles scattered around on Aroa or you can purchase the upgrade nodes in the skill tree and then buy them from the shop or other means. Number five, although you aren't hunted the entire game, most enemies will be on high alert for you. And once you're spotted, it changes the way you can engage into certain cities. As enemies grow in level, they will notice you faster, which puts a higher emphasis on stealth as you progress through the game. Drones, helicopters, and planes scout the island routinely and will notice you fairly quickly if you're just out and running. The villain is John Berthnall, who is known as the Punisher or as Shane in The Walking Dead. He plays the character Colonel Cole D. Walker, and he first shows his face in this series in Ghost Recon Wildlands DLC Operation Oracle as an ally in one of your missions. He now leads a group called the Wolves who have taken over Aroa seeking the advanced technology. Number seven, you can take the campaign on either solo or up to three of your friends. Number eight, there is an immersive skill tree that lets you choose perks which align with how you want to play the game, either an all-out stealth or guns blazing assault on every city. Number nine, although the game is based around stealth and being hunted, you do not have to play this way if you wish to spec into assault trees or build your character around doing massive damage, but taking only a few hits. Number 10, regardless of your gear score or enemy gear score, it only takes a few shots before you die which means taking cover and bandaging your wounds will be critical as you move through missions and side quests. Number 11, there is an enthralling campaign that explains what happens to your old ally Walker and what led him to take over Aroa. You're given quite a few side quests in addition to full access to the map the moment you begin the game. Number 12, the only part of the map that is restricted will be a separate island which contains the raid-like content and that comes at a later time. Number 13, use the varying terrain of Aroa to your benefit as you hide behind mountains, use the snow as cover when sniping, or funneling your enemies into a choke point that lets you rain down damage upon them. You will face multiple different terrains and biomes as you move through the islands such as swamps, mountains, and snow. Use each biome to your benefit. Number 14, you can create makeshift camps that let you rest, modify your gear, and fast forward through the night and day cycle of the game. If you prefer fighting during the day, you can sleep through the night or vice versa. This is also where you can change your different class that you prefer to move through the game with. Number 15, they have a release schedule of additional content coming every four months. New stories, weapons, gear, special events, and game modes being some of the reference content that will be released. Plus one, number 16, is you can choose between four different classes when you start the game and you can change the classes as you move through. Each class has different abilities, which will change how you plan on moving through the game. Either an all out assault class, a sniper class, or even a medic class if you play with your friends. 